Hi, your mum. Welcome uh, back to a new vlog. Uh, we thought we'd actually start this one off with some good news. We're at the cardiologist again. <laughs> this is our last appointment until next year, right? January? Yep. Is that correct? Okay, good. Um, we found out what's wrong with mum. She's not dying. It's fine. <laughs> we knew she wasn't dying. Um, she, <laughs> so she has um extra heartbeats i oh, i forgot to ask him what the standard amount is anyway mum has more heartbeats so that's why she starts to feel a bit like in 24 ah! hours right okay 1200 it'll be on that report mm -hmm. <clears throat> no twelve thousand. he said oh did he that's a lot yeah twelve thousand one hundred and ninety four beats yeah Right. But I okay. think he said only 1,200 is extra, so uh, that might be... Anyway, it doesn't matter. We worked out what it is. He said it's yeah. not bad. Well, he said it's like... Annoying. Yeah, it's more annoying than it is dangerous. She does have medication that she can take. Um, oh, she got a prescription for medication she can take if it's bothering her and that's it we're good now uh today look i was gonna film today because i haven't filmed anything for my channel in ages um but it's a really beautiful day and there are whispers that we might be going into a small lockdown because uh covid has found its way here from sydney um and we thought because it's such a nice day and we can't take the dog out and we might be going into a mini lockdown for a short time why don't we go for a drive up to the dandenongs with the freya girl so let's go get freya and let's go for a drive okay so we made a detour before going home we've come to bunnings because we've been needing cactus mix for like ever Oh my god like well well over a month we've got a, a cactus that look we just need cactus mix uh, but i thought i would let you guys know that we actually <laughs> we looked at mum's paperwork and we, we like deciphered what's going on so um she's got a 14 percent burden on her like beats per minute over a 24 hour period she's meant to have 60 beats per minute average she has 63 average but it ranges from 47 to 110 beats per minute so when her heart is going fast that's probably when she's starting to feel a bit funky and not like funky town more like mm, funky down. yeah lay down funky also guys <coughs> i have my veneers done yay on tuesday uh i'm quite happy with them but i'm still a little bit bit tender a little bit tender lots and of needles new bunnings. huh new bunnings i don't think it's a new bunnings i no, think it's new for us new for us yeah we haven't been to this one before i am gonna check out the plant section i'm going to even though i don't need anything but i'm still gonna look okay let's go get cactus mix yeah <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, it's so cold. Okay, this is the first time I've looked at a Hoya and not not been totally offended by it. I kind of like it. I don't know what type it is. Oh, Australis. Okay, cool. There we go. They've got heaps of them. I'm not going to get one because I don't need any more plants, guys. I don't. I really, really do not need any more plants. <laughs> Although, in saying that, there are a couple of plants that if I came across them, I would buy them. Oh my God, look at the little baby Sabrinas. Look at them. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Yeah, yeah, so they are so cute. <laughs> so mum's just brought me to look at this. I saw this before when I was going to get cactus mix, but I didn't really jerry what was going on. So they've got these, like, they're called grow bags, and it's just pot, potting mix. 
with everything you need in it basically it's like a really good airy potty mix you just cut it open on the little like sections and you plant stuff in it and it grows in the bag i actually i really i i like that yeah like i don't when you when you need them yeah that's pretty cool like it's not it's not something that I really well, but you can put it up high. I, yeah, so the to snail. be fair, I would actually. Yeah, that's a really good point. You could put it high. I just, I think it's like you know, it's a, it's a twist on something that they already do. Bags of dirt. Wow. It's cute. I like it. Yeah, it's a All good right. idea. Cool. And you can get it up. Wow, look at the color on these guys. The snails and the things that um, eat it all. Oh, this is nice. Ew. I don't like it. Oh, it looks it's fuzzy. Like Stay yeah. In the yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go home. Let's get warm. Let's get the Freya girl. Let's yeah. go for a drive. Oh, wait. Let me look over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look, I like to check these ones because sometimes there's treasures. No, I don't want cactus. I don't... Oh, look, they've got little variegated angel tears over there. Cool. Don't oh. want it. Don't need it. Okay. Yeah. See? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can go now. Let's go. Let's go. Goodbye, Bunnings. Thank you for your service. Freya, where are we going? Ah, uh, don't you get in there. Come here. No. <sighs> yeah. Where are we going? Sit. Wait. Wait. I want to show you guys. Ah, uh, wait. It's not sitting. Sit. Wait. Ah, uh, uh, sit. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's too excited. <laughs> that was naughty and she knows it. Look at her laying down. I'm sorry, but I had to. This is the cover that we got from um, Costco and I really like it. It's fantastic. Um, it just covers, you know, the back, the front and the bottom, which is fantastic. I feel like the lighting on this looks a bit funny. I'm filming on my camera because it's simply easier. Anyway, let's plug her in and go, go, go. We just had to get off the freeway because this one was freaking out in the back seat. No, in the car. And I was thinking, fuck, is there a spider or like what's going on? It's this little... <laughs> Look, she is... <laughs> she was terrified. She's like... What the fuck is that? And she full on carry on. I thought there was like a spider or something. <laughs> what is it? You're so silly. See, it kind of hurt you. <laughs> she's like, she's just like, she's so funny. That's a timid German Shepherd for you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking eat the shit out of this thing. Right, but harder. first stay. I need to be scared. All right, you stay. Yeah, let's tuck it away. Is that too long, that room? No, no, she's fine. In you go. All right, safety first. There you go, puppy. Let's continue. Hello guys, it is Thursday. Um, we're still in lockdown. We were meant to come out of lockdown on Tuesday, but they've extended it, I think, for another week. So, <sighs> there we go. We're still in lockdown. It, To be honest, it suits me very well because at the moment, 
I am like a non-functioning shell of a person. Um, I went and saw my doctor today about my sleeping issues because last night I like I mentally snapped and I just I am not coping at all it is affecting most aspects of my life my my inability to sleep normally is really starting to like stress me out and it's like I'm very lucky because I work from home um, I can work around my sleep issues but I don't like what I don't like how they rule my life or I don't like how it rules my life um, I really like <laughs> when my sleep is good I'm the type of person I get up early I like to smash out my work in the in the morning and then in the afternoon I like to um, you know have me time whether that be you know chilling out um, visiting with friends you know maybe running errands or just going out with mum and doing something that's you know just whatever um, and then in the evenings I like to chill with a movie or a TV series I like to make dinner I like to go to bed and rinse and repeat get up early do it all again when my sleep issues are active it's like my body clock is thrown off by about six or seven hours um, sometimes even more so I won't start to be able to go to sleep until like three four five six in the morning at the moment my like falling asleep time is anywhere between 5 and 6 a.m. it's really bad like really really bad and what's hard about it is like so I'll do one of two things fall asleep and then I'll wake up after about four or five hours sleep and try to get through the day and of course I feel rubbish I feel I'm one of those people when I'm really tired um, I feel nauseous <laughs> um, so I'll feel nauseous all day and be running at like 40 or 50 percent capacity um, but then nighttime rolls around and I get a second wind it's like Bing, I'm wide awake um, so it's like it takes me all day to wake up and then in the evening I'm awake and then you know it'll be like three four in the morning I've been in bed for hours going come on it's sleepy time and it's just not coming it doesn't it doesn't come on um, and then sometimes I will not actually get a second wind in the evening but I still can't go to sleep so I think that there is maybe some like a little bit of insomnia in there but I I think I have like a, a bit of a different kind of sleep issue going on so anyway I went to my doctor I told him that we talked about it extensively we talked about you know like other things like stress um, stimulants that I might be taking like caffeine alcohol smoking all that stuff um, and you know what my kind of like general lifestyle is like at the moment which I was dead honest I was like it's bad it's fucking bad I'm so stressed I can't get work done I can't get the level of work done during the day that I like to get done that gives me that satisfaction and that like it's almost like a sense of peace and like you did the work and you reap what you sow and everything's going to be okay you'll be able to pay the bills you'll get everything done the house isn't too much of a mess well look the house is always a mess to some degree but it's not 
for the lack of trying. It's not for the lack of the ability to get up and do it. Whereas now I'm so non-functional that it's like piling up and it makes me stressed. Like I just, I hate it. I hate it. And pair that with like fucking down in the dumps of winter bullshit, blah, which I get every year. And I told the doctor that. And he said, that's definitely not going to be helping you. Um, I just, at the moment, I'm like, I'm bad. I'm struggling. My life is not, like, mental health wise and, like, healthy sleep routine and just getting on with everything. My doctor said, like, how would you rate your life at the moment? And I, I said, five or a six. And he goes, and how is it when it's good? And I'm like, eight or a nine, sometimes a 10. Like, I'm a happy person. I like my life. I'm very privileged. I'm very lucky. I'm like everyone else. I There are things in my life that aren't perfect, you know? I have an unwell mum. My house is too fucking small for the amount of people who live here. But I am blessed. Like, I am a very lucky person. And I see that. But right now, I am fucking just incapable of doing anything and I hate it and to be fair saying I'm I'm currently a five or six I was probably being too nice because right now I feel like a fucking two like I just want to cry I want to cry I want to go to sleep and I want to cry <laughs> so yeah not good um doctor prescribed melatonin um I went and filled the prescription today $220 for a 30 day supply and listen if it works if it helps me that's fine I will go without all of the little luxuries that I enjoy to be able to afford the medication if it helps me um, also look it's not um, government subsidized which sucks it should be sleep is extremely important um, but I do I got private health insurance last year so I think I'll be able to claim some of that which will be good oh, so yeah I I just hope it works but I'm not gonna lie like right now I just have this impending like doom feeling for tonight because I still have to get through tonight uh, and look uh, my doctor said you know some people don't like melatonin because it doesn't make them like fall asleep it helps to regulate their sleep um, so maybe it will frustrate me uh, because I still need to be able to actually fall asleep and that that's what I'm having trouble with but we'll see we'll see how we go um, yeah there is a puppy who is waking up. And what you looking at, girl? What you looking at, girl? Oh, is that right? Oh, fuck. Ah, uh -uh. no. Oh, you want to give me the kisses? Yeah, I love the kisses. You're a beautiful girl. You got the eye goop. You got the eye goop. That's gross. Look at that face. So cute. So cute. So cute. Um, yeah. So anyway melatonin if you guys um take melatonin i know uh there are a few people who watch me who take it um if you're willing to publicly ah, ah if you're willing to publicly share your story in the comments tell me all of the things because i am uh i'm curious about you know how it's helped other people i have done a tiny little bit of research on it not much i um look Honestly, I, I find that um, I've tried not to focus too much on my sleeping issues over the last 20 years because I feel like I can get really in my head about it. But now I feel like it's been going on for so long that like that, that it's already too late. Like the damage is done. I'm so in my head about it. And I do think that there is a level of like 
anxiety around it, knowing that I'm struggling to sleep and being stressed about not being able to sleep. And I feel like that is also like sort of making it worse for me, making it more difficult because uh, it doesn't usually last this long. Usually it'll be like a couple of weeks where I'm out of whack and then, you know, it just sort of sorts itself out or, you know, sometimes I might uh, set my alarm for a few hours earlier and get up really early and just power through. Uh, <laughs> you nearly hit me in the face. <laughs> power through um, a day feeling tired and, you know, I can get things back on track. But um, I, none of my usual... Uh, attempts or usual sort of solutions have been working so yeah I'm struggling a bit struggling are you struggling you're not struggling you're just a cheeky puppy who gets to sleep all day hi <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's very cute girl so nice um so I've pretty much been in bed all day because it's cold and I just can't I can't make myself do anything yesterday I filmed a fucking video for my channel and I edited it and I published it and it went up today and I'm very proud of myself honestly like that's such an achievement for me at the moment oy, 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 oy. but anyway whatever that's not actually something to be all that proud of because fucking I like to do three videos a week but I have not been doing that lately hopefully that will be uh, back on track soon uh, this weekend I also want to do a live I'm planning on publishing this video on the Sunday and doing a live video on the Sunday as well I have dog hair stuff to my lip I know if I stop patting her she's gonna carry on but I gotta get it off because it's driving me insane okay hi guys check in mm -hmm. um i picked up my mum's like don't put me on camera i picked up my medication right so hang on just let me hide my my details so this is it slentio <laughs> that sounds suspicious but check this out <laughs> i don't know how i feel about this look how tiny these are what the fuck they are they're like they look like hundreds and thousands for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> i should make cupcakes with these so anyway i've done that so i've got it um my gp did say that um like we might have to play around with it a little bit might be that like I need 10 milligrams instead of five or six milligrams or whatever and if that's the case then you're gonna be expensive but we'll see how we go we will see how we go Freya is so impatiently waiting we're at <laughs> snackers we're at Macca's getting the snackers um, and she just she knows because <laughs> whenever we come here obviously we give her like a little chippy oh she put her put her foot up she's like come on we give her like a little chippy or we give her some hash brown or whatever or a little bit of our burger she loves it it's fun it's exciting for her um when i went to pick up my medication i parked next to a park and she just freaked out and she can't, she still can't go because she's still on season. And she just like, she doesn't understand. <laughs> she doesn't understand. Why? Why are you being so mean to did me? She humans? got upset because we drove out of mattress with no <laughs> Yeah, she did. Because we ordered, like, we're, we're bad. We always order breakfast menu stuff and it's like 20 to 4 in the afternoon. And when we like drove out and parked to wait she like full-on carried on she was like Where's your food? what are you doing <laughs> we don't go to Macca's and not get the snackers that's <laughs> wrong that's so wrong uh so she doesn't she doesn't understand but it's all right we'll sort you out she's just spotted a dog hello guys um it is 
it's Saturday. Um, I have been wanting to make this for so long. I'm gonna make Brazilian cheese bread. Um, I bought some that was like in the frozen section at Woolies a couple of months ago and it was delicious and I thought hell if this is delicious imagine if I made them myself and I looked up how to make them it looks pretty easy so I'm gonna do that. Hey Siri what what is 400 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 400 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to about 204 degrees Celsius. So this recipe calls for uh, tapioca flour, which I don't think is super common. I was able to find it at the supermarket, but they only sell it in these little bags. And apparently I need four cups of it. I know, Bird, I know. So I thought I would update you guys on how I went with melatonin last night. Um, it was fucking great. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Not only did I very, oh, is that right? Now, what you want? You want, you want snackers? Little. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, um, what was I saying? I was able to go to sleep really easily. Um, it helped turn off my brain as well because I'm a nighttime thinker. It's when I get like, I don't know, it's like when my creative juices flow and I'm like, ooh, this and that and blah, blah, blah. And um, that obviously doesn't help my sleep but I didn't experience that last night, which was great. Um, and I slept soundly throughout the night, which isn't usually an issue for me anyway, but um, it was nice to know that, you know, that also helps. Six tablespoons of oil, my God. Uh, so anyway, yeah, good. I'm very happy with uh, how the melatonin went, oh my god, if I have to do this six times, we're gonna have major fucking problems. Come on, hurry up. Oh god, I've gotta take the, I've gotta take the spout off because that's just gonna fucking annoy me. Salt. Alright, fine. I believe you. I was um, a bit worried that the melatonin wouldn't, like it just wouldn't be what I need it to be, but it's exactly what I need it to be. I'm so annoyed that I didn't jump on the bandwagon sooner because fucking hell man like the difference between my sleep last night and the night before and the night before that and pretty much this whole year is night and day i'm actually looking forward to bed tonight love it Where is my mixer? There we go. This will have to 
do, because this is as good as it gets in this house. Or oh, wait. No. For fuck's sake, this lighting is shit house. Let's come over here. Um, so if you that lighting is even worse, what I cannot win. I can't win with this fucking camera. How about we try this? Is that worse? Are you just gonna sort your shit out? Camera? Maybe? No? Fuck it Now, if you've never had if you've never had Brazilian cheese bread before, you don't know what you're missing out on. It's amazing. Um, if you if you speak Portuguese and you know what this is, then please feel free to cor correct the way that I pronounce this. But I think it's called Peo de Cuejo. Is that right? with a really bad Australian accent, trying to say it. Um, anyway, basically what it is, it's these little balls about the size of a golf ball of like bread and inside they're full of cheese and deliciousness and they're kind of gooey and soft on the inside but they're also crispy on the outside. Mm, they're so delicious. Mum. I'm making Brazilian cheese bread. Oh, <laughs> she just run and hide. Run and hide. Um, they're amazing. They're delicious. I want it. I want mm -hmm. Do I stir it? Yeah. Give it a stir. It's supposed to come to the boil and then I've got to have got it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have a shower. Mm -hmm. I've got your piece. What do you, hey, don't leave that there. Get, no, put it in the bin. <laughs> Fucking take your mother oh, home, guys. You take your mum home. I'm sick of her. Stand mixer, use a stand mixer. I don't think I bought enough parmesan cheese. Uh oh, spaghetti oil. Oh no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, let the fun begin. and take your mother home. I'm, I'm going to put her out on the street for the hard rubbish. I'm going to take photos of that. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go and have a shower. I wanted to have a shower. Well, I'll have one first. I need it. The hot water won't heat up for like three weeks. <laughs> that's not a joke, guys. You put a peg on your nose. Um, that's not how it works. I want to do this. Oh, what do shit. I do? What? You... Tip the water out? Yeah. Grab the ball. Tip the ball into your hand. Oh. Ooh. Let fill it up. Grab that one. Yep. That's it. Another day. Has yep. it got bigger? Uh, well, they take like years so to grow. Years. Yeah, that's not. I don't think it's any bigger. Oh my god! It's like enough for one more, but not space for one more. Oh my god! It's so annoying. Okay, here they are. I'm pretty sure they're too big. That <laughs> is troubling. They're all just going to merge and stick together. I know they are. But it's fine, who cares? 
I'm not Nigella Lawson, but I love food just like she does, so it'll all be okay. Wish me luck. Got another one in the oven right now. Let's do some cooking. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Oh, yum, 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 yum. These turned out really nicely. Well, I won't know until I crack one open, but they're crispy on the outside. Nice and golden brown. Little bits of cheese have got that yummy, like, mmm, mmm. You just know that's going to be, like, full of flavour. I was a bit worried that they wouldn't puff up. Because uh, mine were looking a bit flat. But they have puffed up, which is awesome. Trust the process. Trust the process. Um, depending on how these are... What I might do next time is you can make up the mixture and actually freeze it. So you make the little balls, put them on a tray, chuck them in the freezer, let them firm up and then bag them up and you can cook them straight from frozen. You just cook them for like an extra 10 minutes. That's what the, um, uh, the Woolies ones are like. Um, so if these turn out really delicious, I'm totally going to do that because... I love having really easy snacks in the house and if it's something that I can keep in the freezer, even better. Mum, yes. Look. Oh yum. Look at them. Can I try them? Yeah, but they're just out of the oven, so yeah. they're gonna be like scorching hot. Alright, have a little, Hiya! a little baby. I wanna put butter. They shouldn't need butter. Oh fuck, they're hot guys. They're hot, but I'm trying to break oh Oh, look at them. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, uh huh. Oh, they're hot. This might sound like sacrilegious, so please don't be offended. But here in Australia, um, people who like Vegemite also love to pair Vegemite with cheese. And these would be amazing if you could somehow get little nuggets of Vegemite in there. I need to work out how to do that. Yum. Yum. Do you want a ginger tea? No. <laughs> Why? I don't want ginger tea. I don't like it. What should I make next? <laughs> I've been thinking. What if I had a pumpkin pie? Mmm. Yeah. Pumpkin pie is not a thing here in Australia. Do you use that for the crust? No. Oh. Pumpkin pie is a sweet thing, Mum. It's sweet, right, guys? Like, no. you have it as a it's dessert. <laughs> no, but... Pumpkin pie is typically, like, a sweet thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, sweet. guys. Something else I want to make. What do you think about... Oh, oh sorry. Okay. What do you think about the sound of this? <laughs> and if you're American and you know what this is, let me know what you think about it. Ambrosia salad. <laughs> what do you think that is? I don't know. If you had to guess, what would you think? It sounds like a flower. <laughs> it's a dessert. And all I know is it's got fruit and marshmallows in it. <laughs> I am not your guinea pig. Hey, you are now. You like these, don't you? I love them. Mm. They're beautiful. You know what they'd be really nice with? Mm -hmm. Pumpkin soup. Yeah. Or any soup. Dipping in any soup. You want soup? some? Soup or stew. Oh, good girl. Even stew. Mmm. Yum. Oh, They're really good. I can't give you any boo because it's cheese. No, you can't have this one. It's sad. <laughs> He's doing this. He's like... <laughs> give me this one. Look at him. He's done to his bed. 
His brain goes now the back up the back. Why? <laughs> why, Bob? I don't even know where it's like. Bob, you're strange. Mmm. Mm. It's cute. Yum. Mmm. Okay, cheese bread major success. Delish, yum, nom 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 nom. Um, pumpkin pie, shall I make that next? Or shall I attempt ambrosia salad? Maybe pumpkin pie. I need to see, like, can I, I even buy tinned pumpkin? I don't know if that's a thing here. I don't, I have to look up a recipe. Maybe I have to make it from, like, scratch. That I could definitely do because we can get pumpkin here. <laughs> that's not an issue. Um, let me know, guys. You let me know if you have, like, you know, your favorite pumpkin pie recipe link me to it or let me know what it is um and yeah i might i might look at making that next try some some different stuff from around the world because yeah pumpkin pie is just not a thing here i don't think i've ever seen it like on any menu you can't buy it people don't make it it's not it's not a thing um and the only reason why, like, pumpkin spiced stuff became even kind of a thing here was because we have Starbucks and they do pumpkin spice stuff. Is it the right time of year for that? Not really, but okay, who cares? It is here. It's bloody cold here. It's cold here. It's the right time for us. Maybe not the right time for you guys. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, and yeah. I'll leave it at that. I don't know what the next vlog will look like. I have nothing planned. We're in lockdown. I I don't know. What are we gonna do? I have I have nothing. Nothing for ya. Very the most mundane vlogs. That's what's coming. Cause that's all that's all I've got. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks so much for watching. Freya says goodbye and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Freya, rude.